Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. Welcome back existing viewers and subscribers. This is going to be your April 2022 predictions, okay? This is going to be general, so whatever area of your life pops up, all signs, whether it's your love, general, career, finance, family, okay? Whatever pops up. Remember, these are general. Not every message, not every card, not every storyline is going to resonate. Please excuse the noise. I have a bird, and I also stay by the highway, so it gets loud, okay? <laughs> but let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go up in the tarot. Thank you for giving me clear on this message is. All signs, April 2022 predictions. You guys, I am open for personal readings. I'm currently not working, so um, please go ahead and book your personal readings with me. You can donate to the channel. You can like and subscribe. We're almost there to get monetized, you guys. I just need a few more, a couple of total um, watched hours. So I really thank you guys for being on this journey with me. And let's jump into it all the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's start with Aries. What are your April predictions, Aries? Okay, that jumped off. You, feeling more like yourself? I can do bad all by myself. The fool with the three of wands. I see you're not waiting. Your ships are coming in now. Your ships will be coming in. Clarify the fool. A new journey, a leap of faith, a new job, career, a purchase, a car, a home, finances. This is beautiful. Six of Cups, this is a blessing, it's a gift, it's mending, it's the home, the family, your children, having this money for your family, for your kids, you know, things like that. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, you can be dealing with an Aries, Pisces, or any Earth sign. The Nine of Pentacles, this is a single card, so I see you're doing well by yourself. The Nine and the Ace make up to ten, so you are ready for family you're ready for a relationship you're ready to if you get in a relationship be able to be able to sustain your end of the deal your end of the deal you want things that are mutual beneficial re reciprocal things like that clarify the nine of pentacles beautiful energy aries i see more money in april two of pentacles yeah more money is second stream of income we have the eight of swords and the four swords, you might give up one job and go to the next. You might give up one house and buy another. Might give up one car and get another one. Okay, whatever it is, you're giving up one thing to receive something else. Yeah, the four of wands, you're moving. There's a reason to celebrate. This is a connection as well. This is a relationship with you and self, you and spirit, you and a person, you and your job. I see beautiful energy. The Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card. Free Empress right here, Aries. So this means you are well taken care of. You're able to take care of yourself. I see you are letting go of one thing. And you might be giving this to your children. Giving this to, you know, I don't know if you're doing, I, I hear legacy or charity. I don't know if you're giving something away for your kids and you're getting something else like you're selling one property and with the money you got from selling this property you're able to buy another one the same thing with the car you might be selling a car or selling a home and you're flipping that money to get something else i don't know what it is but it will be worth it very beneficial the um, nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here's your new star aries right here coming up in april all right beautiful Fast forward movement could be a new car. You could be dealing with an Aries, Pisces, or a Cancer, or a Virgo, or any Earth sign. All right, moving on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, what are your April predictions looking like? Okay. Spirit, give me clear honest messages for Taurus for April 2022. Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard on your money, working on yourself. Somebody wants to work with you. Yeah, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles as well. The Eight and Nine of Pentacles could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or you could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. This is beautiful energy. You look good, okay? Something is being made fair, balanced. 
I see you could be saving up your money to get some type of cosmetic surgery. Maybe you want a BBL or something like that. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune. You're saving your money. You're waiting for this wheel to turn. I see positive movement forward and also travel. So someone could be paying you to travel. Here's your family right here, Ten of Cups. Or this could just be you, but you're emotionally fulfilled. Self-love. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Taurus. That's too much. We got the World Card, Traveling. Now these mofos want to mow some shit. Ain't no grass out there. We got the Ace of Pentacles again. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess. This is a secret. You're using your intuition. This is secret money that you're not telling anybody about. So you're getting a secret raise, a secret promotion, a bonus. This is a gift as well that Spirit is giving you. I hear a new hot lead. I don't know what type of work you do, but you got a new hot lead, a new scoop, or something like that. Yeah, a new hot lead, the page of wands. This is exciting. This is the next big thing or something like that. And then the queen of wands. Yeah, you could be interviewing someone or someone is interviewing you, the world again. Clarify the queen of wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. So if you're a mu musician, if you're, if you're a musician, up-and-coming star, up-and-coming artist, Five of Pentacles, yeah. It takes a lot of money to invest in yourself. Five of Wands. Then the Strength. You could be dealing with the Leo for some reason. A, there's some type of Leo trying to take your shine. Or maybe you're in competition with this Leo. Clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. The Magician. Yeah, this person is telling you, if you want to make it big or if you want more money, if you whatever it is that you want, you're going to have to work a lot harder than what you've been doing. Five of Pentacles. You're going to have to bounce back with the Magician. So be done with the Gemini. And then temperance, patience, clarify justice. I'm getting that energy of, have y'all seen them type of movies where there's this popular person and they have, why did you tell me something? And they have like, they're very talented. What was that movie? Y'all know, and it's kind of like, I think it's Step Up or something like that. I'm just going to use that as an example. But y'all know how there's this already popular or already famous person who has a lot of money or has a lot of popularity. And then the new person in town, like the new girl in town or the new guy in town is competition for that old popular person. The old popular person is kind of like giving you a run for your money, but it's also teaching you like, if you want to be better than me, you're going to have to work a lot more harder than that. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. So, yeah, six of wands, victory. If you want to succeed, if you think you're the be the next best thing, you know, if you think you're the shit on the stick, I heard, I don't know why they said that, but if, if this is what you think you are, you're going to have to work a lot harder. You're going to have to be a lot better. You're going to have to sharpen your skills a lot more, Taurus. Clarify justice. But whoever this person is, you may think they're your enemy, but they're not. They're actually really helping you. I know it may not seem like it, but this person is helping you be the best version of yourself. Clarify justice for Taurus. Yeah, the king of cups. You'll be thanking them. You could be in love with the Libra. You could be getting married. We got the ace of pentacles again. Marriage or a child. Clarify the king of cups and justice. Could be a Libra, Scorpio, Cuss, Knight of Cups. You will be in a relationship. I see you dating someone. I see you getting married as well. Justice could represent marriage. The King of Cups, there's a water sign, masculine, who is in love with you. Or you can have water in your chart, Taurus, masculines. You're going to fall in love with this person. 
okay you are gonna fall in love with this person who your mentor or whoever is in fake competition with you you're gonna fall in love with each other okay bye Taurus <laughs> uh, Gemini 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 April 2022 Alright we got the three of wands You could be waiting for your ships to come in Why are these damn cards so slippery They put oil on my fucking cards Ace of cups I do see love here two of wands But there is a decision you need to make You are moving in a new direction So in April so I don't know if you broke up with somebody or you will be breaking up with somebody in April, but you're doing it for yourself, self-love. You're moving in a new direction, maybe with your job, company, friends, or family. There's something, there's something bigger, greater, more passionate, fun, successful that I'm supposed to be doing. Clarify the three of wands for Gemini. Yeah, you turning your back on love. And you're loving yourself. Four of Swords, definitely resting. King of Swords, planning. You're growing, you're planning. You're sharpening your mind. You're getting ready. This is all in preparation. Clarify the Ace of Cups. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we got the strength. You're holding back. So the strength, like, it's Gemini. We got the Ace of Cups, and then we have strength. So the feeling that I'm getting is a Leo energy. You can have Leo in your chart, or this person you're dealing with is a Leo. Leo rules the heart, love, the fifth house, romance, family, children, things like that. So I see that you could be trying to decline someone's offer, or someone is declining your offer, but it won't. This person is persistent with the strength card. They're persistent. They love you. They want what's best for you. So as soon as you turn your back on love, love comes in. King and Queen of Pentacles. As soon as you start working on yourself and putting in the time and love and attention, you meet your match. You start vibrating on the same energy frequency as your loved one. Okay? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. We have the nine to the ten. You move from being single and then you jump into being in a relationship, a family. Here's the family right here, the Empress card. Could be done with the Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Gemini. Queen of Wands, yeah, I want to do my own thing. Hereford. But spirit has so spirit has something else. Spirit has another plan for you. Clarify the two of wands. You're beautiful. Spirit says, I want you to experience love. I want you to get out there and have fun. Clarify the two of wands. The king of swords. Clarify the king of swords and the two of wands. You, this is you. Still thinking, wondering which direction to go in justice i just i'm going towards what's fair and what's balanced i'm going towards what makes sense the hermit card yeah i'm withdrawing i'm going towards what makes sense clarify justice good karma gemini clarify justice the king of wands we have the king and queen of wands you're going towards some type of relationship with self or with another person or with a job or business partner. We have the King and Queen of Wands. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So, and then the Four of Wands, a relationship right here at the bottom of the deck. You will not be single for long. As soon as you turn your back on love and working on yourself, your money starts, uh, your money gets better and life starts speeding up in a positive direction. I see a relationship. You like this person. This person likes you as well. I think you like how much they like you. 
All right, exactly. The lovers. You, Gemini. Stop acting. Okay. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer. For April 2022. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? Cancer. I hear extra, extra. Read all about it. I don't know if you're reading the newspaper or something. Cancer. All right, let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer for April 2022? Y'all just always want to have all these cards flying out. I'm not going to lie. It's getting on my nerves. Getting on my nerves. All right. Let's get reversed. All right. Cancer. The hangman could be dealing with the Pisces. You're sacrificing something, seeing something from a different perspective. The five of swords, sacrificing your ego. Cancer, please. I hear major disappointment. Cancer. The two of swords. Oh, what is going on in April? Give me one more for Cancer. The Knight of Pentacles. Things have slowed down, and that's what's got you feeling a little defeated um things i see things are going to be slow for you cancer but that's not a bad thing so don't let that get you in this defeated energy if things are good let them be good things will grow and pick up a little later clarify the hangman could be because the single card you don't want to be single in april the nine of pentacles but you look good your money looks good try to enjoy this clarify the hangman for cancer the knight of swords oh what did you say it wasn't nice five of wands oh Whew. gemini libra aquarius energy you told somebody you want to take a break maybe your job has you on an extended leave Things are slowed down right now. Clarify the King of Swords. What was said? Or what are you thinking? What are they thinking? Clarify the King of Swords for Cancer. The Knight of Cups. So what's going on? Why now? I heard. Why now? Why now do you want to come give me this love offer? I haven't heard from you. Things have been stagnant. Things haven't moved. Haven't progressed forward. But then communication from this king of swords, love offer. Okay, and this person has you in your head. It's crazy how clarification will change the whole story. But um, whichever storyline is yours, the five of swords, it's like, oh my gosh, where is this coming from? Clarify the five of swords for cancer. Is this a playboy, playgirl? Eight of Cups is somebody you walked away from. Somebody who's been distant. Somebody who hurt you. This person puts you in a depression. This is a bad state of mind to be in. They make your head hurt. And this could be your child as well. Your child just hard-headed. Don't listen. Sorry, but yeah. Cancer with the chariot right here. Clarify the Eight of Cups and the Five of Swords for Cancer. Queen of Swords. Yeah, the, wow. The King and Queen of Swords. So you both is bad at the mouth. You both get real slick with, with the words, with the cutting off, with the communication. Both of you think you're smarter than each other. Both of you think you can now argue each other. But we have a match right here. So there's something that they do that you do too. And you don't like it. Ace of Swords right here. You got to stop doing it. 
can't you can't take it when it's done back to you. Oh, give me a second. Hi, Cancer. Sorry, I had to take a phone call, but we're back. So basically, not Cancer. Yeah, we are on Cancer, my bad. Basically, Cancer, somebody's going to be doing you the exact same way that you did them, or you're going to be doing somebody the exact same way they did you. Two of swords, please. We're almost done with you. All right, clarify the two of swords. Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, you're going to tell them... Cause you moved on already cancer like you're not telling them like you've already moved on they made you stagnant they made you question things sacrifice things now that they're coming back you're making them wait on you it's the, the ball is in your court clarify the knight of pentacles for cancer five of wands yeah this low energy don't feel good do it that's what I'm hearing. You probably saying to them or thinking, yeah, they don't feel good. Do it. <laughs> you're denying their offer for of cups. Yeah, you give, you're giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. Or I'm warning you that somebody's going to try to come back and do this to you. Give me a different message for cancer. We don't care about <laughs> the pettiness. Give me a different message for cancer. What can they, excuse me, what can they expect in April? Seven of Swords. Ugh, lying, cheating, stealing, conniving, avoiding, or just not telling the whole truth. Could be a white lie or an Aquarius. All right, patience. Temperance is coming out again. Five of Pentacles. Uh, I'm just hearing that very first storyline. Uh, things are just slow right now, and that's not a bad thing. Don't let your mind trick you into thinking that something's wrong, something's not right. There's lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking here. Just things have slowed down. Well, we got the devil card. Somebody is lying, cheating, sneaking, stealing. Damn, I'm over here trying to be positive. Clarify the seven of swords. The hierophant. Somebody is not being faithful in some type of commitment or relationship. Or this job is crooked. This lawyer judge somebody's crooked or somebody's belief systems because the hair could be a belief system it's not right it's crooked okay you might need to seek other help with the queen of swords clarify temperance seven of cups yeah what do i choose slow down take time before you make this decision Okay, clarify the five of pentacles. You may feel like you don't have enough money, assets, or support during this. Yeah, the tower. There's been an ending. Could have lost your job, lost your home, lost your car, or money has slowed down. Clarify the devil. So, let me see. Clarify the devil. Six of wands of victory. So, somebody could be deliberately trying to hurt you take you to court make sure you cross your t's dot your i's and read over every single documentation because i see somebody's trying to have a victory over you clarify the devil in the six of wands also be careful driving to a swords yeah they're trying to blind you because somebody's trying to get over on you that's all I be smart about it. Queen of Swords. I keep seeing that. Be smart about it. There's some type of decision. Take your time and really think about this. Okay, Cancer. Leo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? April 2022. Leo, the lion. All right. We got the king of swords nine of pentacles everybody's getting the nine of pentacles so everybody's money's looking pretty good everybody's stable single looking good feeling good but the king of swords very logical a thinker a communicator two of pentacles you have a lot on your plate okay a lot of um 
You just have a lot to do. Priorities. We have the three of cups right here. So I do see you still making time to go have some fun with friends. Okay, clarify the two of pentacles for Leo. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, juggling, needing to make a decision. You could possibly have too much on your plate. Six of pentacles, but you are going to balance it out. Maybe you're giving to two things. You're trying to upload content on YouTube and TikTok. And it's just like you're trying to figure out the best way to get it all well-rounded. You have two different things you need to do but how do you balance out giving enough time and energy to this thing and enough time and energy to that other thing break through in clarity sit down and make a plan clarify the nine of pentacles for leo oh the sun this is you you're happy you are so happy clarify the sun yeah eight of pentacles more money clarify the sun for leo this is this is positivity happiness a gift could be a child a birth of birth of something clarify the sun for leo eight of pentacles still came out so this is you you run your own business you're getting a raise a promotion or yes you are getting accepted for that job you're getting that job yes you are getting that job. You're getting that money. Will of fortune, good fortune. Clarify the king of swords for Leo. Clarify the king of swords for Leo. The world, beautiful energy. Clarify the world. We have judgment, good decisions. Could be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus or Aquarius. Clarify the world and the King of Swords. I hear somebody tells you something and it's the best advice you could have heard. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody tells you something, it helps you get out of this. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Maybe you feel like you can't get out of it. Clarify the Eight of Swords. page of cups you're not trying to focus on love right now like you're not trying to focus on love you don't want to get distracted we have two eights as well eight of pentacles eight of swords i don't want to focus on this anymore i want i'm going to focus my attention on work so this could be what the two of pentacles is as much time and attention i give to work i will give to myself i don't want to worry about a relationship right now you don't want to get distracted clarify the three of cups but well, somehow leo <laughs> you are still surrounded by people having fun. The three of Cups is a celebration. Fun with friends. Clarify the Three of Cups for Leo. The King of Pentacles. Exactly. You're celebrating this raise, this promotion. We have the Queen of Wands. You're beautiful. You're lovely. People want to work with you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, people want to work with you, talk with you, laugh with you, be with you. Clarify the King of Pentacles. the three of swords there's too many people up in here five of pentacles so i'm saying in april you're going to finally be able to april marks the beginning of your you starting to feel that you are healing from the past okay it's like spirit is gifting you leo this this is your time you have you have healed that's what I hear. You have healed. You found yourself, your self-worth. You're not settling. You're not compromising. You're working on your weight. You're working on your business. You're working on your uh, mental health, physical health, emotional health. Leo, you've healed. So April marks you your time stamp for healing. All right, come on, Virgo. I just see you having fun too, Leo, with the Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be having fun. You may even see the people who've hurt you. And it's not going to... Like the people who did you wrong in the past, if you ever see them again, it's not going to hurt you. Okay, we're still here. All right? Those old wounds, they're healed. You know, 
You don't have to cover up anymore. You don't have to hide anymore. You don't have to be ashamed anymore. You don't have to walk around in that hurt anymore, Leo. April is going to be your month of you being healed. You're going to show that you're healed. You're going to walk like you're healed, talk like you're healed, okay? All right, bye, Leo. Damn. Virgo. Virgo for April. King of Wands, come through, sexy-ass Virgo. Eight of Wands. Okay. Good communicator. Well, what happened? Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Something may not have went as planned, Virgo. You reached out to somebody for some communication. You reached out to somebody with confidence. Whatever happened in between this conversation, it ended in a disagreement or a breakup. And now you're resting, healing, recuperating from it. Clarify the King of Wands, Virgo. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag or have Aries Leo Sag in your chart. Clarify the King of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. You reached out to somebody I said, you, I said, I, I don't know. <laughs> I said I want a new start with you. That's what you said, Virgo. You tried to make a plan on, on happiness. This is what happiness looks like to me. These are the steps I need to take to be happy. Or you were just sneaking around with the Leo. Or you feel like this Leo is being sneaky with the Sun card. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The seven of swords and the sun, right? Yeah. So you feel like you're being left out. Either you feel like you're being left out or this person feels like they're being left out. Someone. Because these are all honestly good cards, even with the seven of swords and the sun. So maybe somebody's... um. Lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking is going to be revealed with the sun. It's going to be, you're going to catch this person. Or this person is going to catch you. Clarify the king of wands. Strength. Could be done with the Leo. So this, it looks like this Leo. This Leo is super beautiful or super handsome because we got the king of wands. And they tried to offer you a new beginning. It just looks like somebody's trying to plan a new beginning with someone. You could be trying to plan a new beginning with this Leo. Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. You feel maybe they will not accept your offer. You fear rejection. They fear rejection. What well, I need a plan just in case Leo does not accept my offer. I need a plan just in case Virgo does not accept my offer. But I want to come see you with the chariot. Clarify the eight of wands. I want to speak with you. I want to come see you. Clarify the eight of wands for Virgo. Knight of cups. I love you. Let's go on a date. You want to close the gap. This is somebody you walked away from or someone that walked away from you. Clarify the three of swords for Virgo. Clarify the three of swords. The Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Lovers. Okay, so multiple people could have been involved. The Three of Swords. Somebody could have broke away from this connection, but you still feel very strongly about them. I feel like you might want to make it right or it's this person. They want to apologize. The Page of Wands could be an apology, but also a, hey, you know, a very flirty, hey, how you been? Hey, sexy, I miss you. Or... I hope you didn't forget about me. Anything like that to try to make this person, like, not be so mad. <laughs> but we have the Knight of Swords, so it's just like, you, you're kind of, like, resentful. That's what I hear. Even though you're trying to be fun and upbeat and flirty with the Page of Wands, you're still kind of resentful. I feel like it's because you have not healed this broken heart, like, it's like, and Virgo's like, how can I not be resentful? This is the person I love. And it's like, they did not accept my offer. They, 
don't want me or something like that clarify the four of swords the three of cups you want to heal with this person so i see you or this person is going to come in for a reconciliation in april all right libra yeah we have the two of cups virgo two of cups queen of cups All right, Libra. Libra. Libra for April 2022. Libra, please. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra in April 2022? Oof, three of swords. Heartbreak, what is going on? Libra, was there a breakup? Was there a fight, an argument with the five of wands? Why do Leo keep coming out? I don't know what Leo is doing. I don't know why Leo is always in the middle of some bullshit. Okay. Give me one more for Libra. Okay. Libra, April 2022. We can't avoid it. The sun card still came out. Leo is here. So, either you're dealing with the Leo, you can have Leo in your chart, your person can have Leo in their chart, or just the energy of a Leo. Beautiful, very flirty, um, very loving, but very strong, very powerful, stubborn as well, okay? Clarify the Three of Swords for Libra. Three of Wands, oh my goodness, a lot of threes. The tower, there was a breakup, an ending, and distance. Clarify justice, so maybe a divorce. <sighs> Five of swords, oh my gosh. Yeah, the hair effect, an ending, a breakup, a divorce. Clarify the Five of swords, and clarify the justice card. Queen of wands. So even though you and this person are not together, you still love them. I'm getting that Lucius and Cookie vibe. Nine of Swords reverse. I'm getting that Lucius and Cookie vibe. They hate each other, but be fucking around with different people. But can't nobody hurt the other person. So say you and your person are not together. You hate each other. But let somebody try to hurt your person. Let somebody do your person wrong. Okay? Some shit like that. Clarify the Five of Wands. Eight of Swords, a lot of arguing, fighting, this, the just deception, and mind games and manipulation, just so much toxicity. And surprise, the Devil card didn't come out. The Tower again, just endings and endings. Clarify the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Four of Wands, arguing within the home, within this relationship, this marriage. You still love this person no matter how much you argue. Clarify the sun. You can have children with this person. Clarify the sun card. The world, the cycle is over. You want it to be over. We got the king of wands right here coming out. Then we have the queen of wands. Both of y'all is crazy. Um, Can't nobody tell y'all nothing about each other. This makes no sense. Okay. I hear you want to you want to go one more one more time one last rodeo oh my gosh clarify the world and the sun please six of cups healing so okay maybe all of this was past energy three of wands three of swords could have been third party interference or just the breakup and distance was in between you and your person i don't know what it's going to happen, but there's going to be some type of shift in April. You two will be seeing eye to eye. Because we got the sun, the world, and the six of cups. A new cycle. So, April, I don't think it's going to be no more arguing, no more fighting or anything like that. And this this uh, pair could be you and a new person. Don't have to be you and the past person who did you wrong, Okay. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra. Moving on to Scorpio. 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 Sc
Scorpio for April 2023. Scorpio. Queen of Swords could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're saying something or thinking something. Your person is saying something or thinking something. Or this is this could be any random person saying something to you, okay? What else for Scorpio? Two of Pentacles could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody says something and it has you kind of in your head juggling like, uh, okay, what should I do? The star. But it opens your mind to healing, opens your heart and your soul to healing. The family, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, I never saw it like that before. Somebody, I don't know if somebody says something to you, if you're talking to a therapist, or somebody is having an intellectual conversation with you. And this conversation puts you in your mind and it starts resonating to a soul level. And it awakens your intuition, probably even a gift. I hear soul resonance. Clarify the Queen of Swords. You're going to be resonating with someone. Seven of Swords. Yeah, something has you thinking a lot. Because something didn't resonate. Something didn't sit well with you. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. And it has you contemplating, pondering, thinking. Clarify the Seven of Swords. We're dealing with an Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? It's the Emperor and the Empress. It's the Emperor and the Empress. So if your Emperor is coming into your life, this person is going to shake you, trigger you into becoming the Empress. If your Empress is coming into your life, this empress is going to shake you, mold you, trigger you into becoming the emperor. I, I said soul resonance. This is a divine union, a divine match. Y'all on the same wavelength, the same, same vibration. Oh my gosh. Oh my, y'all seen that? Okay. Clarify the two of pentacles. The eight of swords. Oh Lord, you scared the lovers. This is this is heavy. This is deep. This is deep. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. So much love. The Magician. The Ace of Cups. Big energy. Big energy, Scorpio. Clarify. Ooh. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is your family. Your home. The marriage. The kids, it's all here. Ten of Pentacles, long-lasting money, marriage. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio, Six of Cups. Your soulmate. Your soulmate in April. We got the lovers right here. We got the emperor and the empress. Lovers. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Aries, Gemini. Oh, my God. If this person isn't it doesn't come in in April, you you start feeling them. You start feeling them that journey. This is why you start getting agitated and anxious and um triggered. You you feel your person about to enter into your life. You're seeing them in your dreams now. Death card could be dealing with another Scorpio. Your life is about to be changed. That's all I can say. Ready or not, the star be careful what you wish for. Moving on to, who's that, Scorpio? Sagittarius. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. My Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. April 2022 for my Sagittarius. Ten of Swords, an ending, betrayal. Seven of Cups, because someone couldn't make up a mind. Indecision is a decision, and it broke your heart. What else for Sagittarius? 
Ace of Pentacles, you have a new start, a new beginning coming. Somewhere else or with someone else. Three of Swords, but this this broken heart got to be healed. Got to be mended. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Libra strongly put a divorce in ending. The ending to a situation, ending to a job, ending to a home, ending to... I send my condolences if it's an ending to uh, you lost someone. And you're confused on wh where to go next. So I see if someone did pass, those feelings and emotions are going to flood you in April. Stay stable. There's a new beginning coming. This is just showing you that there are still some things that need to be healed and taken care of. And that is okay. Sag, that's okay. Clarify the Seven of Cups. King of Cups. Loving yourself. Oh, but how? I'm so hurt. Clarify the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Everyone I love ends up leaving. They don't want me the way I want them. We have the Knight of Cups. A lot of water, a lot of emotions, very emotional, Sagittarius. Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Knights of Cups. Different options in love. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Okay, a planner, strategizing. Okay, let me see. The Page of Wands turns into the queen of wands so i see then the nine of pentacles so i see if you've been denied if you've been denied for a job and they pick someone else if you've been denied a love opportunity and they pick someone else that cycle is going to be over for you sagittarius because i see this page of wands transforming to the queen of wands you know the story everyone does the ugly duckling who turned into a swan anybody who slept on you and all of that extra shit they're gonna be dumb looking stupid they're gonna be dumb and looking stupid they're dumb as hell okay shit because you're beautiful you're smart you're talented you're a treasure anybody would be lucky to have you anybody would be lucky to have you working for them as well you're taking this time out to work on your body, your image, your self-esteem, your heart, your mind. Damn, clarify the three of swords. Queen of cups right here. Yeah. This feminine is healing. And here's the match right here. The king and queen of cups be dealing with the cancer pisces or scorpio all those people who didn't want you maybe if you did break up with somebody you thought was your life partner or if whatever it was that hurt so bad there's going to be something that makes up for it that removes all of that hurt you won't even remember that you were hurt in the first place the sun card don't get stuck in these um negative emotions for april spirit is throwing them on you to get you to get rid of them so you don't bring them as baggage in your next relationship or in your next job or in your next friendship, okay? Good luck, Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, April 2022. Seven of Pentacles, good good investments, thinking, very logical, could be dealing with an air sign or have air in your chart. You can be Capricorn Aquarius Cus. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn. Thinking, planning, strategizing, seeing the fruits of your labor, very patient. Two patient cards, Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance, could be Sagittarius Capricorn Cus. Look at the Nine of Cups. A wish is being granted, fulfilled. A lot of happiness. The Nine of Cups is a self. 
loving self happy with self type card as well all right anything else for capricorn for april 2022 page of pentacles the start the, this is the starting of something and here you are capricorn you're feeling you're feeling real good feeling like yourself you could be dealing with the leo so maybe you and a leo are taking things slow this is the person you've always wanted to be with someone is guarded though it could be you or it could be them because you guys are taking things slow maybe you're remembering all the things you've invested in all the people you've invested in in the past and you don't want to do that again clarify the seven of pentacles king of cups you love them they love you or you like them they like you too you got one eye you got one eye on them even when you sleep if y'all sleep next to each other you keep one eye open to watch this person clarify the king of cups ten of wands who do you have emotional baggage do they have emotional baggage clarify temperance it's like you want to be with this person, but you trying to work through this baggage as well. And I feel like your emotions are getting a little convoluted and swirled around because as much as you like this person, you kind of forget about your emotional baggage, but you can't forget about your emotional baggage because it's going to pop up eventually if you don't take care of it. Clarify temperance. Six of Pentacles, balance, patience, six of wands, victory. One more six, and you're going to be out again. Six weeks, six months. Okay. Six could be important. Clarify the nine of cups for Capricorn. Ten of pentacles. Beautiful energy. This relationship or this job or this idea, whatever this is, has potential for long term, long lasting it makes you happy to think that this is my wife, this is my husband, this is my one. Okay? Clarify the Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Leo, another Capricorn, or an Earth sign or Sagittarius. A lot of Earth. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Three of Swords. Oh, what happened? That baggage came out. They're toxic masculine when it's time to step up to the plate. <sighs> Clarify the Three of Swords. The Knight of Cups. You want to love this person past the pain you experienced in the past. Clarify the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. justice okay you want to move you you want to be with this person i think this person is friend zoning you but uh yeah you want to be with them and it breaks your heart that they probably don't see the potential in you page of pentacles but you see the potential in them ten of uh ten of pentacles or it's vice versa you're breaking this person's heart because they see the potential for y'all to be together but you don't Either way it go, I see you happy. Devil in the sun, you could, you could be dealing with the Leo. Come on, Aquarius. Where you at? Aquarius. Aquarius. April What messages do you have for Aquarius for April 2022? Page of Swords, your energy. What are you so interested in? Who are you so focused on with the chariot that you want to move towards them right now? And then we got the Ten of Cups. This person has sparked your interest. And they have you on an emotional high. You're feeling emotionally like you're high off love right now, I feel. What else for Aquarius? 
if it isn't a person, you finally, we got the five of wands, you finally found your group of friends or that one friend or that uh, maybe that book or that TV show or that hobby that has piqued your interest to put you on that emotional high. You're high off life right now. You found something that really um, it pleases you. Brings you a lot of happiness and pleasure. Clarify the page of swords. What are you researching? Who are you stalking? <laughs> An Aquarius. You could have double Aquarius in your chart or you're interested in another Aquarius or someone is interested in you. There's a lot of healing. Maybe you could be researching different spells, different um, herbs. You're researching um, different philosophies, things like that, because this is a research type thing. How do I do this? How do I make that? You know, Ace of Pentacles, an investment. Clarify the chariot. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer. Clarify the chariot. The Queen of Wands. Somebody is very beautiful. And you like to see them. You like to talk to them. It's like, I can't wait till the next time I get to see them. Three of Cups. You love spending time with them. If it isn't a person, then it's whatever a hobby that you're doing, a TV show you're watching, something, some, something that has you on that, that high, okay? That emotional high. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Maybe you could have had a baby. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, could have had a baby. Spending time with family. There's good news here. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands for Aquarius. The Nine of Cups. So you like the debates. You like so you probably met your soul tribe or your soul family. And or you have a podcast, you do lectures, or or you're in school. It's something that you like doing. You have to do it a couple like over and over again. Repetition. Like you're a student. You don't have to be in school to be a student. You could research at home and things like that. There's something that has your time and interest, and it makes you very happy. It um, stimulates you. And the con and the controverse, I, what's the word? Controversial, whatever it is, it makes you happy. You like it. You like the debates. You like seeing from different people's perspectives, point of views. Well, why do you think like that? You know, Aquarius like to argue. Um, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Virgos like to argue too. And so do Libras and Sagittariuses. Clarify the star and the page of swords. King of Cups, there's love here. Or you're emotionally fulfilled by this person or this thing. Clarify the chariot and the queen of wands. King of wands, there's a connection here. There is a connection here. Could be with the Cancer or an Aries Leo Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Yeah, clarify the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So you could meet somebody through a family member. Clarify the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Balance. We got the Three of Cups again. So I see some of you Aquarius could be dating. You're single, and, but you're dating. Your dating life has opened up. It's not dry anymore. Because, you know, sometimes singles, the single life be very dry. Your uh, single life is not dry at all. I see um, some nookie right here. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> clarify the five of wands and the nine of cups for Aquarius. Six of wands, victory. You like it. The Page of Wands, good news. This Five of Wands, the Five of Wands could just be heated heated conversations. I don't see it uh, getting you down, though, with the Nine of Cups. Maybe this gives you an opportunity to finally express yourself, to finally say what you've been thinking this whole time, to finally get it off your chest. And you, you're happy about it. You're going to be presented with the opportunity to finally get something off your chest. Or this person is. With the Nine of Cups. Maybe you're finally getting the opportunity to tell that motherfucker off. 
But on the other hand, I do see a connection with the King and Queen of Wands. If you're not in a connection, this is you singles balancing your masculine and feminine energies. I see something does have your interest. You're completely good where you're at. A lot of you are dating. The dating scene is lit. It's not dry. All right. You're having a good time. Could be dealing with another Aquarius. Aries Leo Sag. Cancer. Or Pisces. Come on, Pisces. Speaking of Pisces. Last but not least, my beautiful Pisces. We got the sun. You can be dealing with the Leo. The Knight of Cups. There's love here. Somebody likes you, wants to date you. You like someone, wants to date them. Okay. We got the Three of Cups and the Temperance card. Yeah, somebody wants to, um, I, I see somebody might want to reconcile. That's what I see. It could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. We got the Three of Cups and Temperance. Somebody wants to make things fair with you. They're like, they're coming back in. I wasn't fair with you. Clarify the sun. But I don't think you care. You, you're the sun. I know Leo is the sun, but the sun, like, I feel like Pisces, you are embodying the sun energy you're happy clarify the sun for pisces page of cups yeah you're a visionary you love yourself you really like yourself a lot could be a little vain a little cocky motherfucker conceited this is your energy this queen of wands yeah you the shit on the stick pisces and i'm not boosting your head i think you think that about yourself anyway but I do see there's a Leo that you really like, Pisces. With the sun and the queen of wands, they're beautiful. I feel like you just want to take a bite out of them. Like, mm, I like this Leo. Okay. Or this Aries. Clarify the king of cups. Sagittarius is here too. King of pentacles. Yeah. This. I'm sorry. Did I say king of cups? I meant the knight. But the knight of cups, we have the king of pentacles. So we move from the page to the knight of cups. This person is like, okay. What do I need to do to get you? Okay, do you want to start off slow? You know, flirty texts, or well, let's do some dates. I want to, I want to pace myself with you. I like, I like Leo, or whoever this is you like, Pisces, or whoever this is that's liking on you. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Pisces. Seven of Cups. Yeah, like, do you want this? Do you want that? How do you want it? Like somebody's like, how do you want it? And I'll do it with the chariot. Yep. How do you want it? Woo. Is this a sex reading? What's going on? Clap out the three of cups for Pisces. Strength. I told you it's a Leo. Somebody's trying to hold back three of swords. They've been hurt before. Clap out strength in the three of cups. Maybe this is not your first time dealing with this person. Page of wands. A lot of fire. There will be a lot of fire and a lot of passion in April. Clap out temperance. The uh, Knight of Swords, Temperance and the Knight of Swords, this person could have two different personalities. And you got to just be tempered because one minute this person is soft and calm. The next person, the next one, for one, what the fuck am I trying to say? One minute this person is soft and calm. The next minute this person is going in, wham, bam, aggressive, all types of shit. They could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords and the Temperance. Two of Swords. Mm, sometimes you feel like you can't win with this person. Six of Cups, but you love them. You could have children with them. You are the only person who got the Two of Cups. I think you and Virgo got the Two of Cups. Pisces, y'all were the only signs that got the Two of Cups. All of this love is coming. And the Nine of Cups. The Tower, Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you are you will be in a relationship. Yes, you will. Yeah, you will. A lot of fun, passion, sex, creativity, communication, travel for you in April. Be balanced, be stable, take your time, have temperance. Okay? 
I'm going to do a collective message for y'all and we're going to be out of here. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective April 2022? We got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the High Priestess, the Star, Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, a lot of love. So what I'm seeing is collective, y'all have the potential to just start vibrating differently and attracting those people on the same wavelength and energy as you, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Use your intuition. It's a very spiritual time. It's very important for you guys to... I cut the deck and I see the Queen of Cups. And I already have the King of Cups right here. As soon as I say it, vibrate differently and you'll meet that. You'll start attracting your match. And you really will. Time to start loving yourself. You'll attract people who love themselves as well. And you're not emotionally drained trying to love this person enough for them to love themselves. All right? A lot of wishes are being granted. Things are just going to be made easier collective spirit wants you to have a lot more fun get out there date love laugh live get out the house with the hermit card get out the house okay what messages do you have for my collective in april 2022 acceptance accept the things that you can accept Accept the things you can't change and all that extra shit and let go of anything else for my collective, please. Abundance. It's coming, collective. It is coming. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You can leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. Y'all check out your March monthlies. Until I see you again, I'll see you later. Bye.